Welcome to I Have Issues, a comic book show where I talk about comic book related subjects that either piss me off or annoy me to some degree. Today we're going back to Detective Comic Comics to talk about a group most of you have probably heard about, the Titans. Now you've probably heard of this group. The Titans are a group of superheroes who, for the most part, were all former sidekicks. Nightwing is obvious, but you also have the former Aqualad, now known as Tempest, Arsenal, who's the former sidekick to Green Arrow, Kid Flash, who's now just the Flash, and Donna Troy, who... who... I actually can't remember who she used to work with, but whatever, moving on. You also have the superhero Omen, who wasn't a sidekick like the others, but has known the others a long time, and as far as I'm aware, she got her start with this team. At this point, though, you might be a little confused because of a certain team that is also related to the Titans, namely the Teen Titans. Just to clarify quickly, these are two separate groups. The Titans were the original Teen Titans, but once they got older, they dropped the teen part of the name and were just the Titans. The Teen Titans are still around in some form or another, but that's a separate book series. Back to who I want to talk about, the Titans were given a new book when DC Rebirth hit a few years ago. The book lasted about three years being cancelled in 2019. I'm currently working my way through the series and I noticed something that, to me, seemed a little strange. In an early volume of the series, a villain captures several superheroes from the Titans and the Justice League. Nightwing, Donna Troy, The Flash, and Tempest from the Titans, plus Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, or the other Flash, and Aquaman. You can probably guess why it was those heroes specifically. Something that I noticed right away, because it was part of the villain's plan, was the Titans almost instantly regressed as characters. There's something that happens with a lot of people. The best name I've heard for it is social regression. The idea that when you're around people from your past, you start to exhibit personality traits from when those people were more prominent in your life. Acting like an asshole teen when around old high school friends, being more submissive when your parents are around and letting them do more of the decision making, that kind of thing. And you really see it in this part of the series. The Titans almost immediately fall back on their old sidekick habits to an extent, and the League members try to exert more authority in the situation. And it causes some tension because while the Titans are regressing, they are still heroes in their own right, and it brings out some conflict. It then happens again in Volume 4. The League shows up to disband the Titans temporarily, for reasons, and while some of them refuse, the former sidekicks slowly fall back on listening to their old mentors. Nightwing especially has to ask Batman if he's disappointed him in some way with how he's been leading the team. After all of it, I found myself asking one question. Why are we doing this? I get that's meant to be a bit of character development, the former sidekicks proving themselves and showing they deserve to be on equal footing, but all these guys have been around, as far as being characters in comics, for decades. I feel like we've moved way past the need for this kind of subplot in the Titans books. Don't get me wrong, I haven't read every Titans comic, I'm not the world's biggest Titans fan, but even I found it weird that this plot point had to be brought up at least twice, involving characters who are way past the need for that kind of development. And to me it shows a bit of backwards thinking, the idea that these characters need to be re-established for the readers, but I'm not sure it's necessary. These characters haven't been sidekicks for decades at this point, so most of the people who even knew them back then have grown up with them and thus don't need the reminder, and newer readers would probably prefer if they were just established as their own thing, rather than finding out there was a considerable amount of background that they don't know and probably won't have time to learn. You really just need to let these characters be the characters you made them into and develop that rather than retreading these arcs solely for the sake of retreading them. And that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I hope you'll come back next month. But until then, I hope you have yourselves a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.